So let's solve one problem together. I'm gonna solve for delta H, delta S, and delta G. Okay, so let's start over here. So let's look for delta H naught standard formation. And of course they give us a table where we have to realize that look at the table, we have the unit for each of those specific thing and look how that we have the negative that tell you that we have kj or kilojoule over mole so let's try this problem again there's a mistake right here this is supposed to be joule rather than kilojoule okay let's go back to the equation again it's the sum of product minus the sum of reactant for all of them except for any element in any pure element for delta h and delta g formation would be zero so let's just work this problem together. It's always product minus reaction. So we look at this reaction here. Here's the product. And this is relative to the reactant. So keep that in mind, okay? And notice how we have the letter N and M. What does that tell you? Those are the coefficient. Those are the number of mole, okay? Because the number of mole will affect the total as well. So for delta H, let's look at the product. We have two mole of this compound here. So I can say that I have two mole, two mole of that compound. What is the values for delta H formation, which is negative 1134.70? There you go. And now that's all I have for the product. And that product is going to subtract the reactant, just like we have here, product minus reactant. So I put the bracket within the bracket at parentheses, okay? So in this case, we have four of CR, and I know right away this must be equal to zero because it's an element, okay? So I tell you the table is zero, and sometimes it's not given to you. So here we have four times zero, and then we also have three oxygen. Oh, look, that's an element form, and it's all equal to zero as well. And look at that, we have oxygen right there, which is an element. So we have zero again, even look out. And then we have oxygen. Notice how it is an element, right? It is a pure element, so it is zero. So again, even the table gave us is equal to zero. So even without looking at the table, we need to realize these are two or zero because they are pure elements. So we have three times zero. So we can kind of, hey, I can say that right there, zero times four, zero, and three, and we add them all together, of course, this whole thing will cancel out equal to zero. So our final answer is pretty much just this part, right? And anything minus equal to zero will equal to itself. So in this case, I just plug into the calculator. Two times negative 1134.70. And then we get our answer equal to negative two, two, six, nine, four, zero. And what's the unit for it? It is kilojoule over mole. That's for delta H. And what does that tell you? Negative delta H. That tells you we have a negative Q, which in this case is an exothermic reaction, or we are releasing heat. Now let's solve for delta S. Not. The same thing is that and we're doing the same thing. We take the sum of the product minus the sum of the reactant. In this case, the product for the values of this compound. Again, it is two times. And for the delta S formation, in this case, is, okay, how we have two mole, okay, minus the reactant, which in this case, remember the exception again? Only delta H and delta G where we have zero for any element, but S is not. So we have to realize there is a values for it. So in this case, we have four times CR. CR is 23.77. And notice how it's the sum of reactants, so we need to add them together, which in this case, we have three oxygen. Since the value for oxygen is 205.138. There you go. Isn't that easy? Now I just plug into the calculator. And notice how I have the caret symbol, right? When you see that, you just assume that there's a parenthesis there. So 2, 2, parenthesis, 81.2, parenthesis, parenthesis, minus 
parenthesis, 4, okay, 23.77, parenthesis, plus 3, parenthesis, 20, or 205.138, parenthesis, parenthesis. And there you go. We have a final answer equal to negative 548.094. Isn't that easy? And what's the unit for it? Of course, is joule over mole time Kelvin. So that's the beauty of using parentheses. We don't have to simplify it individually. We just plug in directly into the calculator. Then what about delta G? So delta G naught, okay. And in this case, delta G naught, well, we have the same thing as product minus reactant. So we know the product is that one, and it is two of that, and that is negative 1053.11, okay. And the carrot symbol to group that is this reactant minus the sum of the reactant. So we have four times. Chromium, notice how this is an element. I know right away it is zero. And we can prove that right there. See right there, zero. And then we also have oxygen, which I know right away it is zero because it's an element. Okay, so we know zero. So this can simplify equal to zero. And our answer is just be that part only, which we know I can put parentheses, two times parentheses, negative 1053.11. And you see that will give us answer, which is negative 2106.22. And what's the unit? Kilojoule over mole. And what does negative delta Q represent? It is a spontaneous reaction. It's in that beautiful. So this right here tell you that is spontaneous. Where this right here tell you it is an exothermic reaction okay so notice how the values tell us something about the chemical reaction is that beautiful here we have a very common one right the combustion of methane very explosive and very beautiful so here we have a, this of course larger table but the same concept and of course I make the same mistakes that is supposed to be joules okay so this one is joule over mole time Kelvin here of course we have kilojoule over mole and here we have kilojoule over mole again for the Delta G so let's look at this problem together let's solve for Delta H again okay so Delta H is standard formation Notice how this is formation of that substance, but this is the delta H of the whole entire reaction. So what we have again is the sum of the product. Here we have carbon dioxide and water, and we have that is one right there, one mole carbon dioxide because there's no coefficient. So what's the values for CO2? CO2 is right here, negative 393, negative 393.5, okay? And we're gonna add to two moles of water, so plus two right there. And what's the value for water? Negative 285.8, okay? And that's it for the product. So we now close it with a bracket. Then we minus to the reactant. In this case, CH4 right there, okay? How many do we have? One, so you put one right there, CH4, negative 74.81. And we plus two moles of oxygen. I know this is oxygen is an element, so it's got to be zero. And I can prove that to you right there. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So we kind of ignore that part. Now let's plug into the calculator. So again, every time you see the carrot, just put parentheses. So you have negative. Well, so we have parentheses. One. Parentheses. Negative 393.5. Okay, parentheses plus 2, parenthesis, negative 2, a5.8, parenthesis right there, and then parenthesis again, okay, minus, parenthesis, 1, parenthesis, negative 74.81, parenthesis, and then 
parenthesis again. And what is our answer in the end? We have a negative point, negative nine zero point two nine. And what's the unit? It's kilojoule over mole. Okay, what does that tell you? The negative tell you it is an exothermic reaction. Isn't that easy? Next, let's solve for delta S, which is standard formation of entropy. So for delta S, the same thing, product minus reaction. So we have one mole of carbon dioxide, and we look at the values for delta S formation, which in this case, for carbon dioxide is right here. So it's 213.6, and then we have two moles of water, two right there, right? And water, where is water? Right, right here, 69.91. And if you haven't noticed so far, all the values for delta S formation of entropy, they are positive because look at that. We learned that the only perfect condition where the entropy is or zero disorder is at zero Kelvin. And of course, here we're talking about standard, that's 25 degrees Celsius. So of course, all of your delta S will be positive. So keep that in mind. Now let's go back to this. So we close the product side with another bracket or parenthesis in that case. So minus the reaction size, which in this case, what do we have? One moles of CH4, which we know is 186.2. And then also two moles of oxygen. Remember, delta S is not the same thing as delta H and delta G. It has some values. So in this case, two moles of oxygen it is 205.138. Now let's plug into the calculator. Notice how the bracket represents parentheses. So we just parenthesis there. 1, okay. 213.6, parenthesis plus 2, parenthesis 69.91, parenthesis and parenthesis again. Minus parenthesis, 1 parenthesis. 186.2 parentheses plus 2, 205.138 parentheses, and then parentheses with a bracket, bracket again. And the answer is negative 2, 43.056. And what's the unit? Of course, it is joule over mole time Kelvin. There you go. Now let's solve for delta G naught. The same thing, product minus reactant. The same thing, the sum of the product minus the sum of reactant. So in this case, we have the product again, one moles of carbon dioxide, and the values for carbon dioxide is negative 394.4. And that's for carbon dioxide. Now we have water, so which is two moles, so two right there. Time, what's the values for water? Negative 237.2. And then we we'll close it up because we are done with the product side. Let's move to the reactant side. We have bracket right there, which in this case, what do we have? We have one mole of methane right there. So what's the value for methane? Negative 50.75. Okay. And then we add to oxygen. I know right away it got to be zero because it is an element. So, oh, it is zero. So we can just ignore that. I'll put a zero there. Okay. Now let's plug everything into a calculator. Remember that bracket represents parentheses. Or if you like to do it the long way, you can simplify them one by one. Your choice. But I like to plug them all at once. So parentheses, one, negative, four, plus two, parentheses, negative, two, three, seven point two, parentheses, and parentheses again, minus, parentheses, one, negative 50.75 parenthesis parenthesis what do we have and the unit is kilojoule over mole and what's that negative tell you that this reaction is spontaneous it makes sense that thing is extremely combustible when exposed to oxygen right which release a lot of energy in terms of delta H. So that's all you have to do to calculate for the delta H, delta S, and delta G naught.